welcome to my channel. Around here, you want something, you gotta build it. Follow along. Let's see what I can do. Okay, we're back inside, or it's uh, fairly warm, good enough. So if you're still watching this, that pretty much means you want to see what's under the hood of this airplane. Well, I'm going to show you. But first, let's talk about the propeller. Another negative comment I see all the time on the internet is people saying you cannot run a long prop on a Jabiru. Well, that's the 68-inch propeller. I would say the average kit box has around a 70 to a 74 inch prop on it. Well, 68 is close enough. I would say you're two inches. It might make a difference in the bedroom, but not so much here. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Let's get this thing taken apart. So there it is, 85 horse Jabiru. Take a look. This right here is what keeps her really nice and cool. If you're going to run a Jabiru, you've got to do the Ram Air Ducts. Also this down here, this is a little ductwork that I made to blast air into the oil cooler, which I think I'm going to remove it because I've had my oil cooler blocked off ever since day one, and I still have a tough time getting good warm oil temperatures. But, let's get going on the oil change. That was a simple oil change. 70 ounces uh, W100. And I just used the Napa Gold Filter. Okay, so that was the easy part. 
Next, we're going to pop these off and get inside there, show you how to set the valves. Okay, so we talked about these a little bit ago. If you look inside, got a little pipe here that comes out here. All that does is blast air on the coils, helps keep them cool. And this bigger pipe hooks to this one, and that goes around to the back side and uh, blows air on the alternator. Just helps keep everything a little cooler, lasts longer. And this one hooks to this tube, blows air down onto the exhaust, and then into the cabin for a little bit of heat. It kind of works. But either way, these are a must. This area right up in here is where you would end up with metal shavings if you had it. I don't see anything. So for this, you want to find the spot on your cam that's completely flat where these can wiggle a little bit. To do that, spin it over. There it is. Take our feeler gauge. I usually set them between 11 and 12 thousandths. That is 12 thousandths. Just want it to go in nice and snug. Well, I guess these have not moved since the last time I did an oil change, which would have been 25 hours ago. So maybe when we tear the other side apart, you're going to see how to actually set them. They go. So I didn't find any valves that were tight, which is a good thing. So I just put her back together. So as far as spark plugs go, this is what I run. I don't even know how to say it, so I'm not going to try. I've got over 100 hours in these plugs, and they are perfect yet. Anyway, guys. I think I'm going to put it back together and maybe go play a little bit. If you enjoyed it, if you found anything useful, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, and if you've got anything you want to comment on, you want to see anything else on this type of stuff, just let me know. I'll make a video. Thanks.